Morning, loves. How are you? I hope all is well. My name is Michelle. Thank you so much for joining me again here at Just Be To Row Aquarius. I hope all is well. I'm wishing you all love, light, peace, and blessings. So we're going to get into a daily vibration for you. Now, my spirit guides are saying this could have happened could happen today, yesterday, or tomorrow, okay? So I hope you guys had a good new moon solar eclipse experience, okay? Um, so these are the cards that fell out. You could be speaking to a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Libra, all right? Or this could be the energies that you are honing in on or someone else's, okay? Remember, I could be picking up someone in your auric sphere, right, Aquarius? Okay, so please um, take the message as it resonates. Take it as it applies. Use your own discernment when viewing this video. These cards came out during my meditation, okay? So I left them out because I felt they were... Most likely very important. Now, this Queen of Roses is beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay, I feel this little Miss Riding Hood energy with this. <laughs> okay, um, but, you know, the Queen of Roses, it talks about love. It talks about, um, you know, beauty. It talks about someone special coming into your life. So that may be what has happened. Or if there's someone already in your life and there's been problems, there's going to be, um, you know, a resolve. Okay. All right. Um, there's also an energy here where you may be starting to do something, um, different when it comes to your beauty regimen. There may be something that you are changing, but whatever you're doing is working. You're getting a lot of attention, male or female. It doesn't matter. These are not gender specific readings. With the seven of scrolls here, um, there's also an energy of intricacies and industries. This is about someone building up their business or getting a new job or beginning, um, you know, some type of uh, studious work. Okay. It could even be um, what do you call that? Um, internship, externship, something like that. There's also an energy here that you may have been working on something for a really long time, right? Or at least it feels that way. And um, this card is reminding you that practical steps, okay? Practical steps will help you to get to the big picture will help you to get to your big goal. So don't stop. The seven of scrolls, it's just like the seven of pentacles, I feel. Um, it's at the point where it's like, okay, do I want to continue to pour into this or do I want to change something up? Or do I want to keep going in the same direction with this project or with this thought or with this business or with this process? Okay. We want to get to the eight of pentacles because it's super, super easy to get to the 10 of pentacles, right? Right? Well, this person here may also be coming in to help you, offer you support in some shape, form, or fashion, or roles could be reversed, flip flop, transpose. Somebody may give you um, a scoop, right? Um, a leg up, um, give you support and nurturing energy or ideas, okay, that you need um, to help keep this, you know, thing growing. Okay. But the card is here to remind you that Rome was not built overnight, even though it looks like this now in the future, this is going to be a beautiful, beautiful, huge, tall business. Some of you could be into land. Some of you could be into flipping houses or construction or something like that. Okay. Keep going. Don't stop. You have real support and help here with this card right next to it. The two of forces tells us to stay, um, just like the willow, just like the willow tree, okay? The willow tree stands um, for strength, but in that strength, there's also flexibility and adaptability, okay? Flexible and adaptable. That's what we're being asked to do because we are being supported here, all right? Go like the river, just flow, flow. Stay flexible and adaptable. And again, there is help here. So for some of you, um, in any relationship, I would want to say, because these bookends here, 
talks about someone either outside of you or this is you helping someone out, being a good friend, um, staying flexible and adaptable in the way you see things, the way you communicate and it's loving. Okay. It's equal reciprocity because we're not being fixed. We're being flexible. Okay. So messages coming in, messages going out and it's very helpful. Okay. There could be a long-term friendship that is developing for you or a long-term love um, relationship that will be um, starting for you. Okay. And it can be any sign because this is definitely Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is the earth signs and this is the air. Okay. So it could be anybody. Let's see. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors. What's going on here? What's going on for Aquarius? What's going on for Aquarius, Holy Spirit? What's the most important message for Aquarius? Just want to get one on each of these and then we'll move forward from there, Holy Spirit. What is this? Ten of Swords. King of Cups. Yeah. So like I said, <laughs> the King of Cups feels more like it, but it feels like there's a lot of conversations. It does feel like it's the end of a tough cycle and a beginning of a new cycle here with the queen of roses. Somebody may even literally come in and they may um, express themselves. Okay. They may express themselves. Gemini energy here. They may have changed their mind about something. Okay. Somebody may literally be ending, has ended a relationship. There's an ending of an arduous road and new love is coming in. The King of Cups is all about love. The King of Cups is Scorpio energy. There's um, this energy here also of intuitiveness, all right? Um, speaking, decisions, and sharing experiences. But this is love. It's pure. It's supportive. You can, somebody may be spilling their guts as well, all right? They may be. Okay, they may be coming in and spilling their guts or it's like they are expressive and they can literally um, talk to you. You can talk to them. It's like they understand your language. Okay, <laughs> I mean, this is air. So you may have um, text or spoke your mind to this person. Okay, you may have text someone over and over and over and over again or vice versa, and now you guys are getting to know each other on another level, something like that, all right? I don't know. We have King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Now, some of you, you may be hearing about a webinar or an open house or some type of instructional instructional uh, class or something about that that you want to join that's going to help you um, with this business or this industry, okay? Some of you, you could be in construction as well. There could be construction happening around your block or in your neighborhood, okay? Let's see, what is the Seven of Scrolls? Let's see, what's the Seven of Scrolls about, Holy Spirit? What's this? It looks like after a struggle, you're going to be happy, okay? After struggling, um, you're going to be happy. Now, it also feels as though somebody is getting, um, getting the job. They're being picked. Someone's being picked for a job, for a business. There's also an energy here where um, someone sees you as this courageous person who knows how to knows how someone sees you as a person, excuse me, 
who knows how to um, resolve conflict is what I feel. I also feel the energy here that there's a simple solution to this problem that you didn't see, that someone else is going to see, or that you didn't see before, and now you're going to see it. You're going to be enlightened, okay? So there's some type of conflict resolution here, is how I want to say it. That's how I want to say it. <clears throat> What's this, Holy Spirit? Ace of Swords. Eight of Wands. This is staying over here. We have the Four of Swords. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot of communication with somebody. It could be um, a Sagittarius. It could be a Gemini. It could be a Scorpio. I don't know. But there's some type of resolve. And there's some type of experience that you've been through that you literally grew from. Okay? You've ended a tough, arduous cycle, and now you're looking ahead. And for some reason, I'm getting somebody who has been in um, two minds, like they were completely and utterly, you know, with a no answer, like, nope, 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 no when it comes to love, no when it comes to new people, no when it comes to this, no when it comes to that. And now all of a sudden, their mind has changed. It's almost like um, dual thoughts or something, or th dual actions and thoughts, yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody may, may have literally been keeping something to themselves with the Scorpio energy. Um, they may have been talking to someone um, and not letting anyone know about their business, and now people are going to see it, okay? People are going to see this, is what I see. For others of you, there's also an energy, like I said, if there's been an issue with a family member, a friend, a loved one, um, there's going to be some type of resolution, some type of talks. Either we're going to end it and move forward or we're going to, you know, clear the air and move forward, whichever. But for a lot of you, there's somebody new who's coming into your life is what I see. After feeling as though it won't, it is. Then I also see the energy here as well. When I put all of these together, like I said, somebody is coming in to help you um, resolve something when it comes to your business practices. There may be talks or something that is highlighted for you that literally helps you get over a slump or uh, helps you do something more smoothly, or you could be going on some type of website, webinar, open house, um, Zoom meeting, or you may even be going to school, okay? I also feel the energy here with flexibility and adaptability. There is this energy here of the Ace of Swords. Now, the Ace of Swords does talk about speaking, communication. It also talks about um, documentation, important documentations. It also talks about, you know, you may be getting a new ID, licensure, OK, it could talk about in the next week to five weeks. OK, so you may be talk, you may be um, getting something done within the next couple of weeks. Bottom of the deck, we have the two of cups. So that talks about contracts. It talks about that love offer that I was talking about. OK, it could be anybody. Yeah, where you didn't see something, it's not going to happen overnight, but it is happening. And I also see the lunar, um, the new moon eclipse energy here with the moon and the sun, especially with the moon coming over the sun. That's something happened during the, um, the eclipse that just took place. Okay, you're going to receive confirmation. 
you're going to be receiving confirmation. Okay, this message is a confirmation. Your emails is a confirmation. There's a e there's a confirmation regarding your voicemail, your email, your DMs. Okay, there is a message here. All right, and I do feel that um, there's going to be information given that's going to help you give you peace of mind. But in addition to that, again, it's a reminder to stay flexible and adaptable. I also feel the energy that you're going to have a lot of surprises, Aquarius, and they're pretty good. Okay. It depends on your perspective, but they're very, very good. They're good. You're going to have a lot of surprises that are like, I don't know, hidden surprises is what I'm getting. It's like, Let's say you go into a store, you're buying something and someone um, says, oh, I got that. I'll pay for it, for it. And it's like, I don't even know you, but you're doing something really nice for me. Or this could be you doing that. I don't know. But I do feel that kind of energy. I feel the spirit wants you to be happy. Spirit wants you to be your authentic self and allow people and groups to help you as they may. Okay. Um, but it's through flexibility. Okay. It's through flexibility. All right. I don't feel that you're supposed to know everything. I feel the spirit is taking a load off of your hands in some shape, form, or fashion. I do feel that. And I feel that you're going to get clarity and victory in this. You're going to have peace of mind. It's going to be happy solutions, simple solutions. Um, I feel the spirit wants to put a smile on your face. After all of these, right? After 10 of swords, feeling betrayed, feeling... Um, you know, beat up and attacked and things like that. But the five of wands, it's like petty arguments, internal struggles, not um, being able to get what it is that you want. But after all of these, you get clarity, you get peace of mind, you get exponential growth, okay? Exponential growth, okay? But with the moon, I don't know, do you have a Scorpio moon? But I see an eclipse here, Okay. So I feel like this eclipse helps to tone down the, the struggles, okay, the, the pettiness and things like that, all right? Five of Wands, Page of Wands, um, yeah, Page of Wands, that's Six of Wands. Somebody's winning here, all right? They're winning in love. They're winning when it comes to this genero <clears throat> generosity and things like that. Spirit is saying, um, you know, stay flexible and adaptable. I'm also hearing embrace the unknown, embrace it with the happy card, embrace the unknown. These are the only two major arcanas here so far, Aquarius. Yeah, magician, things are changing. Things are changing. Somebody may want to um, stand up and be heard. There's also an energy here where you may want to start eating more fruits, vegetables, greens, leafy vegetables, um, grains, okay, or fiber or, you know, salads, something like that, Aquarius, okay? You may want to start um, cooking something like that in your home instead of spending your money also. Yeah, new love, new help, new support, yes, mm -hmm. simple solutions, all right, drink more water also, okay? Mm -hmm. Spirit wants to give you a win, yes, mm-hmm. Yes. I also see this energy here. The spirit wants you to stop holding on to the end result. There's something about getting rid of bad habits here, but you're winning because you're staying flexible and adaptable and you know that you're being led in the right direction. All right. You have strength with the Leo energy, but with that strength, you have flexibility. Okay. Agile. All right. Spirit God source is literally going to help you in a miraculous, beautiful way. Um, what I see here is that there, if there has been a manipulative person in your life who, I don't know, has been, I don't know, trying to do something, um, betray you, tell on you, expose you, I don't know what they're trying to do, okay? Um, bothering you, just talking to you, maybe even sending messages, texts, and things like that, um, that's going to be over. There's somebody else who's coming in here who's going to interrupt this whole thing. I feel like the 10 says it's going to be over. I feel like there's somebody who's going to stand up here. Now, I also feel the same energy over here for some reason. If there was some type of, mm, I don't know, issue 
going on with like a mother figure, all right? A mother, a wife, a sister, an aunt, a grandmother, something like that. Maybe somebody has been in two minds about if they should bring someone into their home, okay? Or not, male or female, doesn't matter. Um, I feel like there's going to be a resolve regarding you're going to figure it out is what I want to say, okay? And I feel it's going to work for everybody because I kind of feel this energy of a grudge. It's like, okay, behind my back, you used to talk about me, laugh at me and all of that. You used to be one of the gossipers, whoever this is. There was a, a problem, a struggle, okay? Um, pettiness too, petty, petty. Petty. And it may have been long standing, but now there's healing here when it pertains to either the mother or the father. We have the sun and the moon. I don't know anybody, but it looks like it's more of a maternal figure. There's going to be some type of resolve that comes in out of the blue now, um, or you may hear from this person out of the blue. Okay. But it's beautiful. I feel that the Eclipse is changing people's minds and changing your situation, all right? With the Ten of Cups here, I feel like whatever was going on, you're going to, to find out about it and there's going to be a resolve. Like you're going to finally get to the it, nitty gritty about what really happened is kind of what I'm hearing from my guides. But I do see you, like I said, winning in all areas. The sun is out here twice with the um, Ace of Swords, that is victory with the... Princess of Wands, this is talking about confirmation of good news and peace of mind. It all ends up well. You are flexible and adaptable. So you're not controlling anything. You're not fixed on one ideal either. You are strong Leo energy, but you're winning. You're bendable, flexible, and adaptable. Okay? There's also an energy here where the sun is shining on. Let the sun shining, let the sun shine in, the sun shine in. Yeah, so even if something catches you off guard, allow. There's a message of acceptance, allow, so that things can fall by the wayside and you can have newness in your life, Aquarius. There is going to be something that, to celebrate here. Uh-huh. And it's something that you wanted is what I feel. You're being set free. You're being set free here. Okay? You are. You're being set free and you're being asked to just embrace the joy that's going to be coming into your life. I hope it was helpful.